Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, 12 o'clock location. We got Semi as the purple Protoss, bottom right hand corner. We got Tim starting as the red Protoss. This is, I believe, going to be on Neo Sylphid. Looks like it. This is game two between Tim and Semi. And if you saw game one, just razor thin margins overall. And it's just, there's razor thin margins in PvP in general. And it was really just having a shuttle out of position for Semi that I believe cost him the game. This was the opening round, by the way. I'm going to see if I can cast as many as the round one games as I can that haven't already been cast. If you check the description, should be able to find the rest of the games. If not, just uh, if it's not there for whatever reason, Artosis casts. I actually make it on the main channel, although I think people are angry that it's not some Korean games. It's tough, actually, trying to tout the uh, Brood War community because I know people are only interested in like the best of the best. It tends to be a problem. Why did the screen go black? They, they tend to only be interested in the best of the best. And so if it's not Flash, or if it's not Jadong, or if it's not uh, some legend, it's hard to convince people to watch the matches. But I felt like that it was a little bit of a rough start. The early games, I think people were kind of working out the rust. But once we were two or three games in, everybody was playing really fantastic matches, in my opinion. Fun, fun StarCraft. StarCraft that looked closer to professional StarCraft than it's ever been. And that's not to say it looked exactly like Korean StarCraft, because... These guys aren't pros, they're doing it for their free time, and I feel like they should be... I guess that's my frustration, is, is I wish I could uh, make people enjoy it more? I don't know. I get it, though. Limited time. It looks like Semi is going to try to risk it with a 12 Nexus on a three-player map to start, so playing it economically risky, and unfortunately, this might be a build order loss, because Tim, in the meantime, has opened up two gate... and he's going to scout to the 12 o'clock location, so he's going to come across... So first of all, he's coming across semi-space first. He's going to have... He's already got a Zealot producing before this is even landing. And this is going to be an extremely challenged recovery situation for semi overall. So the probe going to be able to wander in. So his first gateway is just starting. And the Zealot is nearly finished. Which means by the time the first Zealot is producing here in this gateway, you're going to have pro, you're going to have uh, zealots making the way out. Maybe with the timing of that scout, Semi will have a concept. He's already dropping a pilot of the natural expansion. He would have needed a forge or something, honestly. I don't even know that that would cut it, to be honest. So first zealot making its way out. Double zealots making their way across as well. And Tim has to feel very, very confident about his position in this game. First zealot's been spotted. And right there, you got to expect Semi's heart to sink, getting a little bit of damage. A forge dropping as well. Gonna let's see if he keeps the nexus up. He might want to cancel that nexus overall, but he's certainly going to need some additional support to make this happen. Tim looking to maybe swat that probe. The probe wanting to delay them as much as possible. A little bit of delay there. He doesn't have much room to sit back either. It looks like he drew back that zealot. Is now re-engaging as the probe's saturating that natural expansion. First zealot is popped. So at least it's one on one. Some more probes coming off the line to try to fight this initially. And actually that delay and those additional zealots gonna cost him. That would that was a game winner, honestly. And there was just a slight delay with the additional probes. I'm not saying it's that Semi's defended it yet. Certainly not. It's gonna be a very difficult defense from here, but regardless, Tim may be giving him opportunities, playing it very, very patiently. Now sneaking across the line, he's got one zealot on top of the cannon is taking out probes, and this is a lack of mining. We got two zealots versus three, and more on the way for Tim. And all sorts of probes getting wiped out. This is giving Tim a massive economic lead, if nothing else. Another cannon dropping. More zealots making their way up. That zealot's sneaking out with just a sliver of health, but it looks like Semi might have at least defended temporarily. He has defended temporarily, and he... That's actually a shock. That should have been a game. I got a hats off to Semi. Hats off to Semi for surviving. He's still crippled a bit economically. But Tim, with a bit of delay on the Zealots, allowing Semi to swarm and make it happen. So we, Tim's still well ahead as far as the overall worker count. He's going to have an opportunity to, to drop a Nexus as well. Semi's going to have to play very, very defensively. Still, he sank a lot of minerals into the cannon, into the defense. And as you can see, he's currently seven workers behind. But as this Nexus at the natural expansion comes online, as long as he stays on top of the probe production and keeps the troop production solid, 
he might actually end up economically even on the trade. Semi will end up with a slight advantage where he's got some of these static defenses with these three cannons. But it also depends on how long it takes him to transition into always oh, going so maybe feeling like he is too far behind so wanting to try to sneak a victory here by dropping a citadel of a dune and maybe going dt to follow up also might provide a bit of defense or at least delay things until robotics facility so additional cannons on the front still trying to buy himself some time yeah i'll be interested to see if the probe count actually ends up dead even as that expansion comes online it looks like probe production has been paused for the moment for Semi, as he's trying to rush this uh, High Templar tech. And so Tim, as that Nexus is coming online, is actually still going to end up ahead in workers. He's produced a lot of Dragoons. Does he respect potential DT? And it looks like the answer is yes. He's got that robotics facility now producing. So he's six workers ahead. He's got a much more sizable army on the front. There's a lot of defensive... A lot of the economy was sunk into that natural expansion. The Dragoons just check in to make sure that those cannons are in fact there. Templar Archive is about halfway finished, but as long as Tim drops the robotics facility, I think he's going to be okay here. This is actually going to be... The timing of this is actually going to be really, really close. And the question as well is, is will Tim notice the Shimmer on its way out and maybe create... He, I, he might need to buy himself some time to create a blockade. Right now he's 20 supply ahead in a dominant position. So the robotics facility warps in as the DTs are building, one Dragoon sacrifices itself to try to spot what's going on there. The observatory needed to get dropped now. Second gas plopping down instead. So Semi might have found a way back into this. Now that observatory has been planted, but two Dark Templar have almost been produced. This is going to turn into a close one. So now, the Dark Templar making the way out, does Tim see the Shimmer? If he can see the Shimmer, run back to his main. Critical moments here, and he does not see it. So we'll definitely be able to even things up economically. And on top of this, this is the first Observer being built. The question, the secondary question is, is what route does Semi take? He's taking a very wide route, which is making it all the slower to get to the natural expansion. Walking in, poking at a cannon, got some cannon damage. He only has two Dragoons here, but it looks like that first Observer, because Semi taking a longer route trying to remain hidden, is going to end up with the DTs at the natural expansion just about at the same time. Now, can he split the DTs? One DT going into the main, one getting some probes. It looks like at the natural, so a few kills there. The Observer sticking on position, but the second Dark Templar having trouble getting past the SimCity. The SimCity buying a lot of time. All of the units drawing back now for Tim, but that Dark Templar is still able to get in the main. Take under fire right now, but able to halt the gas. That will definitely help. And it looks like Tim overextending a bit and sending too many units. Never mind, the reinforcement's right there to pin in that Dark Templar. Beautiful defense from Tim. Still maintains the five worker lead. Now we can be, now it is essentially just a walk, skip, and a jump to close this out. He is sitting on two gateways, but he's got the robotics facility, building a second observer just to play it absolutely safe, but right now has a massive supply lead. Semi trying to walk out into this. See what he's up against. Losing a few units for free. And all Tim has to do is, is hold this front. Granted, there's more gateways down. For Semi, and it looks like he's going to do a secondary gateway flood, recognizing that he needs to bust out of his base. But Tim, if you're already ahead, get further ahead. Going to drop a third Nexus. Psy Storm also being researched. But we do have, yeah, units just now safely marching. It looks like the Reaver going to stay at home base. Citadel of doing on the opposite side, plus one weapons rolling. One problem for Tim, though, is he is running on three gateways, so he does need to get that Reaver to the front. Otherwise, Semi might have an opportunity to break out if he can land some good Psy Storms. And he's going to be very, very unit heavy. Tim still with a sizable supply lead, however. As far as a secondary role, it doesn't look like he's managed to get the additional probes that Dark Templar killed in gas. Dropping a cannon, getting his own Templar archives up. Just now dropping his fourth gateway. Actually might want to drop his fifth and sixth. 
just to be careful. And let's see if Semi actually goes... So he built a shuttle. I'm curious if he's going to go for a high Templar drop to try to slow things down. In the meantime, we have a Dragoon and a Reaver making its way out towards that natural expansion. Might have a little bit of drop space there to the north, or it might cycle all the way around and go straight into the main. Semi really cannot afford to split this attack grouping out. Great size storm to start, really softening up a good amount of the units. Big signal that size storm is in fact there. And that's... Semi needs more size storms like that. Reaver dropping now at the natural expansion. Took heavy damage. Able to catch a few probes. Tim still with the economic lead. And now with those units pinned to multiple locations, starting to walk in with that attack force. We'll go ahead and back up a little bit. And while that attack force is pinned to the front and trying to defend there, the Reaver going to drop in the main, get another shot, some more economic disruption. Even though that's a dud. The Dragoon going to engage the cannon. Second shot. Oh, obliterating that probe line. That's about as big a Scarab shot as you're going to see. And now Semi, he's got... About even supply, but he needs to run out and engage right this second, land a bunch of size storms, and hope for victory. It looks like Tim has evened up the gateway count in between. So the supply count's gonna be a little bit deceptive because keep in mind 20 about 25 of that supply is in fact in workers. Tim having that army a little bit spread out, eating some size storm as he moves as well. Now trying to get the stutter steps to thin the zealots out. If he wipes this army out, victory is his. Walking back towards the natural to regroup. He's got his own Dark Templar out. Does Semi have... Looks like he's got a Dark Templar. I don't know if he has his own Observer. He does have Sidestorm to work with. Great Sidestorms thus far from Semi. Really thinning out Tim's army. And actually nearly evening up the supply. Unfortunately, he's so far behind economically. And he's still got that DT. Looks like... Finally, the, the Observer... On the opposite side, grouping up for Tim. Lost his army. But there's still, it looks like a DT going to be able to wander out and take out what's left. So Semi scrambling, trying to regather his troops. Still wants to try to push this into the natural expansion. Do we have any observers following this up? No, he has no observers. So he really doesn't have a counter to Dark Templar right now. Finn on troops. Tim looking to hold. And he's still got, Tim still has this running Dark Templar to swat that army. Semi backing up. He's got a High Templar in, I guess, feeling that he's even things up as far as pure army. Trying to sneak out a Zealot. There's already cannons there, bottom left. Maybe with the Miracle Psy Storm, he could get things a little bit closer. A Dark Templar checking that third. Semi in big trouble here because, again, he doesn't have observers truly to defend here. Tim checking that third just to make sure he's in the position he thinks he's in. High Templar drop at the main does get a handful of probes but i don't think it's going to be sufficient semi trying to move some troops out the zealot sneaking its way out not finding a lot and the dark templar not able to snipe the high templar at the very least but still getting additional kills and boxing semi in so now tim as long as he hits his macro cycles should be able to hold it and ooh, the shuttle exposed as it's making its way back also for Tim's side of things, he can start producing the High Templar as well. It looks like he wants to go ahead and grab a fourth. And that will be four bases versus two. He's already got a solid economic lead. It looks like that Zealot's not going to be in position to interrupt it. The shuttle going to sneak its way back out, maybe try to get an additional storm drop. But Tim just boxing Semi in. As long, he knows as long as he denies a third, he'll be okay. Semi has to come to him. And that is, in fact, what we're seeing here. Walking out, regrouping. Will he be able to pick up the High Templar? We do have an observer this time, but the zealots, yeah, mostly hitting friendly troops as well. Dark Templar obliterating everything, and it looks like Tim just has an overwhelming attack force. He has, yeah, he's plus one weapons as well, so his units are just hitting harder. So Semi once again backed into his natural expansion. He's got three cannons right there. But all Tim has to do is reinforce and make sure units don't sneak out. You can actually see he's Got a lot of these units on hold position right this second. And is regrouping them just to make sure that Semi's unable to grab his third. So Semi at 40 probes. And he's got about three minutes before he's out of minerals. And units are flooding from 
the natural expansion of Tim straight up to the front. He's actually running double forge as well. Somebody testing the front, trying to find a way to get back into this. Desperation attacks, trying to draw those troops into the cannon, able to draw them into the cannon. But a size storm drop follow-up that I missed from Tim. Continuing to keep that probe count low. So even if Semi's able to grab an additional base, it wouldn't matter. There's GG. Well played by Tim top to bottom. Thought Semi was going to pull it out there for a second. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you, again, want to see the games that made it... If you didn't watch the, the live stream from Artosis... Uh, go ahead and either check out his Twitch channel or the YouTube channel that is linked in the uh, description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.